Rose Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for July 2024. So on July 20th, we have Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, moving out of Taurus energy and moving into Gemini energy. So there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, if you have your Cancer Season e-guide available, I'm going to recommend that you flip to this particular astro event and you capture your mood and your attitude because that is definitely going to be changing. If you haven't listened to your July Zodiac forecast, I'm going to recommend you take a listen to that as that is going to clearly detail for you in what area Mars moving into Gemini energy is actually going to influence and change for you. There's a lot of information out there to help you really examine your own chart, your own life to see where this major energy shift will be taking place in your life. So first of all, Mars has been in this Taurus energy. We haven't seen much progress in our physical realms because the whole point of Mars in that fixed earth energy of Taurus was to build our inner realm up. We had some inner work to do. We had to build in our self-confidence, build in our self-esteem. We had to really take a good look at our physical realm, what is working, what is not working, what we have to stabilize, what we have to do, what we have to pursue. Of course, fixed earth energy doesn't really allow much movement. That is all going to change moving into a mutable air sign, such as Gemini. Mutable signs mean it's time to be flexible. It's time to make a move. It's time to try something new. It's time to experiment. And with Gemini energy, yes, there is going to be some division. There's going to be a push and pull because, of course, Gemini energy is represented over the twins. So we are technically at war with ourselves. The ego self versus the higher self, our inner realm versus the outer realm, us versus other people. We are very much trying to weigh the pros and cons of the options and the opportunities that we want to do. We want to pursue at this particular juncture. Mars in Gemini energy, you want to talk about strategy. This is going to be a time where we are going to definitely start the planning stage of where it is that we're breaking away from the old and where it is that we are planning to pursue the new. Now, granted, there is a buzziness that takes place in this Gemini energy. We are going to be a little bit more extroverted than normal because we need to get out into the world. We have to have conversations and collaborations in order for light bulb moments to go off. We also have a tendency to kind of chat and charm our way through to our target, to our goals. A little bit of manipulation, if I do say so myself, but basically we are getting in the mind frame, Gemini energy, getting in the mind frame of what it is that we have to pursue, what we have to build from here. The downside is, is that we could be a little bit distracted, a little bit scatterbrained. So if we're able to focus, which is going to be a tough challenge, especially with Mercury's upcoming retrograde, saying that Mercury does rule over this Gemini energy that Mars is now in. Um, we do have the ability, if we can stay in our lane and stay focused, to accomplish a lot, to come up with a great plan, a great strategy, to kind of dip our toe in some other interests that may support our overall goal, our overall dream and vision that we're trying to kind of manifest. We have a lot more power in our words with this particular transit. So that is going to both, both help us out and maybe put us in a tough situation if you're not mindful on how it is that you're actually communicating. Because Mars is all about our passions, all about our desires and our goals, we're definitely going to be hell bent, a little bit more motivated and determined to kind of see things through. And because this Gemini energy has us very up in the headspace, we're going to be tapping into a certain level of genius. We're definitely a lot more clever than we normally are, and we're able to use words a lot more effectively. Now, if you are somebody that is not mindful with the words that you're using and you just walk around kind of verbal vomiting on everybody, you are going to start some shit. Let's just be very honest there. Um, but at the same time, there's a certain level of power and control that we're able to tap into in order to effectively not only communicate our thoughts and feelings outwardly, but to actually communicate, have a conversation, have an exchange that is actually productive. So that could be a really good thing, especially on the greater grandeur stage of the collective's 
you know, attention right now, but there's a lot of anger that comes with Mars. And because we're in the time to express ourselves here in the Gemini energy, we may just find that a lot of us are getting a lot of things off of our chest. Yes, we are chatty Cathy's. Yes, we are very passionate, but whatever it is that we're talking about, we're overly enthusiastic about some topics and themes, especially if it relates to our goals and where it is that we want to go from here. But we also have the ability to just talk ourselves into some problems. So we have to be very mindful of where our mouths are actually taking us. Now, fun fact here, uh, Mars goes through the zodiac wheel. It takes them two years to go through all the signs. So two years ago, around December, January-ish, we had Mars in this Gemini energy for a very long time because Mars, in fact, kind of retrograded in that Gemini energy. And if I remember correctly, I think it was early January that we had Mars and Mercury in a retrograde and they both went direct pretty much the same time. That's when we seen a little bit of a poof, if you will, in the action, in the activities of the global collective. And again, we're talking two years ago, so do that math. Um, but this is the first time since that particular time that Mars has been in Gemini energy. So when we take a look at the evolution of the Zodiac Wheel, of course, we had Mars in his rulership just a couple of months ago in that Aries energy that kind of brought the fire, the spark, the flame back, kind of put us in a different situation to realize what it is that we're excited and inspired and passionate about and what we actually want to do and pursue. And then we moved into that Taurus energy. We kind of felt like quicksand, if you will. We were going nowhere fast. We had to stand still because, again, the want, need, and desire to make moves is so strong, but we didn't have the correct path, plan, or strategy put into play. Now that we have our values in order, now that we see things correctly, now that we've taken stock and taken inventory of our lives, especially with what needs to stay and what needs to go, what needs to die and what needs to grow, Mars in this Gemini energy is going to help sort us out. So it is going to be a very beneficial time for our individual selves and for the collective because we are going to explore different options, different opportunities that we didn't even consider up until this point. And like I said, if we're able to stay focused and determined enough, we're actually going to see some moves being made due to the plan and strategy that we are now going to get down to the nitty gritty and actually formulate.